Hello guys and welcome back. I hope you're all doing so so well. Welcome to a very long overdue video. I've been meaning to film a shoe collection for so long. I think the last time I filmed a shoe collection video was over a year ago in my old flat and a lot has changed since then so I'm quite excited to show you all of my new shoes. But before we kick this off I just want to say two things. First thing is you do not need this many shoes. What I'm going to show you is a selection of my collection that I absolutely love and I have either bought myself, saved up for, I've either very gratefully been gifted these pieces from different stores or different brands. Some I've bought with discount codes. So it's a big selection and it's generally due to the fact that I am a fashion blogger first and foremost. You do not need this many shoes, just to put that out there. And second of all, if you don't like designer shoes and you're not really into luxury, this might not really be for you. This isn't a bragging video, it's just me showing you guys my shoe collection because so many of you request it. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at the shoes. I'm going to start this off with boots and as you know I'm a big big fan of the black ankle boot. I buy new ones every season because I just wear them to death. They go with everything, I love them. So there's quite a lot of different types of boots here because they're my thing. And also for the most part of this video I'm not going to mention anything in my other shoe collection video. I'll leave that link down below but I thought there's no point me showing you shoes that you've already seen. So this is kind of since that video what I've bought. Okay I'm going to kick this off with a pair of Prada boots. These are in a wonderful kind of smooth leather, pointed toe, you don't see a lot of the pointed toe in this video, but a really smooth, beautiful leather. But I thought these were a very classic boot that I could wear sort of during kind of times going in and out of the city for meetings and whatnot, and an absolutely beautiful boot. The only thing I would say is that the heel is a little bit sensitive. Also got a pair of black boots from Versus Versace. Again, pointed toe, incredible heels. These have this lion's head, well, the Versace Versus logo to the very back of the heel with the silver. So the very statement boot there, just killer heels. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear these. Another favourite pair are from Dolce & Gabbana. You might recognise these because they're just so crazy statement, which I absolutely love. They have this embellishment jeweling to the very, very back, which is what makes such a huge statement. Luckily, I've only lost two or three of the gems, I think, on these. Lost two on there and none on there. Pretty good going because I do wear these a lot. And they're just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love everything that Dolce & Gabbana does, so I kind of wanted a piece that would be really wearable for me. And whilst these are quite a statement and have a lot going on, I've worn them so much. They're amazing boots. The next pair I absolutely love actually, a little bit different to the last two, in a blue suede and black suede in this kind of patchwork almost effect. This is by an independent designer called Gordana Dimitrievich, which I think is how you say it. But she is based in Paris. She has her own sort of independent boutique there and she makes her own shoes and they're all absolutely beautiful. And this pair is really unique. Next are a pair of black leather Chloe boots with this gold detailing around the heel so it almost looks a bit like a mirrored effect from the inside. These are a little bit shorter than my other ankle boots which means that I wear them less unfortunately because generally jeans sort of skim the top and I hate having that gap in between. But you probably know I talk about that so much but generally they are beautiful especially to wear with like mini dresses for that sort of style. But they're a gorgeous boot, I just wish I wore them more, they're very pointy. Another super sexy pair are from All Saints, these are kind of brand new collection in All Saints. A mixture of different types of leather, more of a smooth leather and a more patent style leather here that moves across different sections. Wonderful ankle length again, the great tucked with jeans and a really super pointy toe and gorgeous sexy heel. So I'm a big fan of these, they're very kind of similar style to my Versus ones which again I've worn loads so big fan. Even more recent pairs in my collection are these from Kurt Geiger, which I wore for Fashion Week. Super comfortable, very much my statement style of boot with the black suede ankle boot. But these are cool as they got this kind of mosaic patterning to the heels as well, which are really adorable. But generally just that very, very wearable boot that you can wear all of the time. I'm not going to take these off, I don't think. From Chanel, I have a peak toe quilted black with a patent black heel and the Chanel logo on a pearl in this cutout, which is what attracted me to them. I thought they were gorgeous. Plus obviously peep toe and a patent rim as well over the toe. But yeah, I thought these were just such a gorgeous pair of boots. Again, they're not as high on the ankles as I wish they would be, but they are definitely much more wearable than the Chloe's. The quilting on these is just very, very Chanel. So I feel quite a statement and I love them to bits. 
Next up from Marge, these are more of a flat pair of boots. They're a little bit bruised and battered now because I had them in my case for Canada. These are a brown suede with this embellishment studding all across the front and the toe. This is a quite a cool statement boot, especially like shorts and skirts for summer, but these are still available now. Another pair from Marge, I will leave a blog post down below linking these with lots of pictures of me wearing them as well. But these are an over knee boot in a lovely black suede, more of a rounded, almost flat toe at the end. Feel to these, suede all the way down the heel as well so that it's completely sort of consistent and black throughout. And it just goes up into an over knee boot. But these grip really nicely onto your legs, they don't fall down. These are just a great alternative if you're looking for a really classic over knee boot. And my favourite piece in my boots collection are definitely the Dior Trianon boots. In the blue and black jacquard fabric, the bronze jacquard to the heel and the pink and white jacquard to the toe. And this detailing with the crisscross lattice effect it's just incredible. I love these boots to bits. Um, you can't buy these anymore. They were so limited edition and sold out so, so fast. They were from, I'd say they were from two seasons ago. I still wear these so much. I love them. And finally, in the boot category, we have Dior. These are my latest Dior boots. Again, in a gorgeous, smooth black leather kind of ankle size that I love. Zip just to the inside. Gorgeous Dior patterning here on the back in diamantes, like mini crystal diamantes. And it also says CD here to the ringlets and the cute thing about these is that you tie them up in a bow at the back when you wear them just for an extra little bit of detail I thought they're absolutely beautiful and I love them to bits they are in stock right now in a Dior boutique okay for the second category I thought I'd kind of look at heeled boots the kind of strappy heel boot hybrid so first of all the H&M Balmain collaboration heels I've actually worn these so much because they're quite comfortable. They look gorgeous. I can wear them with dresses, mini dresses, skirts, jeans, and they just look really fierce and really strong. Um, and I'm just so pleased I've actually managed to get these because it was touch and go as to if I would or not. And luckily my friend managed to get me a pair online. She managed to get through to the website, lo and behold, and I got a pair and they're amazing. The next pair I absolutely love to bits as it's one of my favorite brands, Jean Vito Rossi. These are a turquoise gorgeous suede leather in this lattice cutout effect. I've worn these loads. I feel like I can wear these with so many different colours and just create that statement shoe. Like a full monochrome outfit with these is like pow. Colourful, amazing, powerful and actually super duper comfy as well. And the last pair in that category are one of my newest pairs of shoes and I absolutely adore them. These are the exact ones from the Dior Runway collection. They've made a few since in quite similar styles but this was the exact style that they showed on the catwalk. It's just the most intricate set of leathers all in totally different styles. I couldn't even tell you what these leathers are because they're all so different. So there's a different one here to here to here to here. It's just a very kind of intricate shoe. I mean they're very unique and they're very different and I must say they're probably one of my hardest shoes to style but I love them nonetheless and when I do find the kind of outfits to go with them that I love I'm just super happy. Yeah, with them. Next up we have mules, starting with a gorgeous pair from Reese that I recently wore in Santorini. Actually that wasn't recent, that was like three months ago. Time is passing so quickly. These are so pretty though, they're in a pink dusty rose suede with this large strap that goes over the front of the arch of your foot and it's got like a plastic heel to these. I'm not sure if you can still get these, you potentially can do, but I thought they were gorgeous for kind of summer, but I mean you could wear them into autumn as well because they're quite a lovely mauvey pink. Quite a new pair that I'm absolutely in love with are these from Malone Soulier in a stunning navy velvet, it's almost purple with these silver straps across them. They're just such a beautiful shoe and I've had my eye on this style of shoe from Malone Soulier for a year or so. And finally, I managed to get my hands on a pair and I just love them to bits. They're gorgeous with jeans, dresses, and whenever I wear them, I get so many compliments because they're so unique. And probably my favorite pair of shoes right now from the whole collection are my new shoes from Chanel. I managed to find these in Vancouver because they seem to be sold out like everywhere right now, or they were at least when I was looking for them. And I got into a bit of a tears, you know, when you can't find something and you really want it and it's all out of stock and then you just want it more. It's kind of that 
that kind of vibe. So I found them in Vancouver, tried them on, me and Carly tried them on and she was like, babe, you have to get them, they're so beautiful. So I took the plunge and got them. Beautiful black heel in fabric, with this pearl detailing with the seeds on there. This is a beige leather and then it goes down again to like a fabric, probably like a cotton, like reinforced cotton fabric, but amazing. My faves. Okay, next category has to be sandals. We have a pair of poochies in a red suede with the classic blue and red striping and the horse bit icon in gold across there. The gold heel in this textured plastic, I'm assuming that is, but they make quite a statement. I mean, they're not as easy to wear because of the colour choices, but again, just a full monochrome outfit or a lovely black dress that's quite cash and cool. And then these with them is just my kind of style. So I really love these, very, very comfortable as well. Probably one of my most worn pairs of shoes are the Valentino Rock Stud sandals in the black. The multicolored gemstones, kind of black, green, red, and cream. But they're just such a flattering pair of sandals that I've just worn these to death. They're so comfortable. They obviously don't rub you because there's nothing really there to rub with so strappy, but they're only a very short heel as well. So I can wear these with so many outfits, can't even tell you. They're literally like my go-to sandal. Whenever I'm going away, I'll always take these because I know they'll go with everything. Thing. Okay, next category, more strappy sandals and heels. Okay, um, starting off with this pair from Jean Vito Rossi. Again, huge, huge fan of Jean Vito Rossi and these are just beautiful in a khaki deep forest green and they strap all the way up the leg as well but they just look so flattering when you're wearing them on and they're all strapped up your legs and again the short heel makes them super easy to wear another pair from Jean Vito Rossi again that I've got so much wear out of in a strappy beige suede gorgeous heel so the super sexy and flattering on and again they just wind right up the leg but they're just so flattering and again they go with so many different outfits because of their colour being so easy and wearable. Next up is another pair from Moulin Soulier and they're a gorgeous statement shoe. The colours in this are so beautiful and it's just like this very textured fabric running in between each piece of these more satin colourful strips. Really pretty and then goes into again up the leg in a strappy style. I have a strappy pair from Coach which again I think are still in stock. By the way all the links for everything here will be listed down below if everything is still in stock. This is almost a fuchsia pink purple colour. It's sort of somewhere in between a fuchsia pink and a purpley lilac. And again, strap it all the way up into quite a high heel and then they strap up around the rest of your ankle as well. Next pair are from Kurt Geiger in a gorgeous metallic gold cut out leather detailing and again it straps up around your ankles. I haven't worn these yet and I cannot wait. These are kind of new season Kurt Geiger that have just been released. And this pair, I wasn't really sure where even to put these, into shoe boots, into heels, into strappy heels, so I'm gonna put them here. And it's a pair of Sergio Rossi white and gold heels, very high heel, very strappy cutout work, and this is like a gold metal work to very, very center. This is all like leather, and this is a kind of statement gold right up the arch of your foot but they're just a great kind of white heel. I don't have many other white heels and sometimes a dress calls for more of a white heel. So these are mine. We're on the home run. This is the very last category of pumps. So two pairs you will have already seen, but I'm gonna mention them because they are seriously staples for me. And they are my patent Louboutin Pigalle. Pigalle. I always say this wrong and then someone who's French always has a go and I'm not sure how to say it. So I'm so sorry. I do kind of butcher the beautiful French language, but yeah, <laughs> incredible heels. I wear them a lot, hence why they look like that. And another pair of Louboutins, which again you'll have seen before, but they're absolutely incredible. How can I not mention them again? Granted, I don't wear these as much because they're so high, they're very uncomfortable, but they look amazing. And they're definitely a statement shoe for the times when I can bear to wear them for an hour or so. <laughs> Next are a pair from Dear Francis which I wanted to mention because they are actually so different in my whole collection. It has this cow print to the toe, again, lovely pointed toe. This is in a mesh and this is in a leather and it straps, maybe I should have gone in the strappy one, but again, it straps up the ankle as well. 
Mm. One of my most prized accessories, and the one I probably wore the most, are my Valentino rock stud heels. So I think I said the ones I wore the most were the sandals, and these are probably just alongside those. The powder blush shade makes these so wearable with every type of outfit, and they're actually one of the most comfortable shoes I have ever, ever worn. Literally could walk for miles on these and not feel a thing. I love them. Another pair of Malone Souillers, this time in a navy suede. So they're very similar to the mules. The mules were cut off, but these are also in suede. But I got these first, really loved them, and then when the mules came out in a velvet, I realised they were actually they were kind of they're similar colours, but a very, very different shoe for different types of occasions as well, which are mute. And I'm going to finish with the last four shoes, which are all Jean Vito Rossi. The ones that kicked off my absolute obsession with Jean Vito Rossi are the Calabria Courts in white and nude. These are so banged up, I am thinking of buying another pair because they're just so dirty, these now. They're just, they're just worn in. But again, I've worn them to death. I absolutely adore these for every occasion. I take them with me pretty much on every trip because I know they'll go with everything. Um, they're honestly they're one of the best investment shoes I think you could ever make. If you'd rather go for black, I have the black suede pair, which I'm probably sure I've shown you quite a lot of times. But they're really soft suede. They're really comfortable to wear. Again, I can walk for so long in jumpy toes. They feel really, really comfortable. I always buy my exact size and they're just a classic black stiletto, but they just look gorgeous. Another pair of Calabria Courts, and these are in a cream and gold thread Aztec print. They were on sale on my Teresa with about 60% off and still had my size, so I had to get them. And granted, I have worn them a lot since. These with jeans are so beautiful, like a black top, black jeans, and these are just like, they're just so stunning. I, I love them to bits. You can probably count how many times I've said the word love in this. I'm probably going to annoy myself when I edit this back. And the last pair, you'll be glad to know. Another pair of Jean Vito Rossi's. These, again, I got in the sale with like 60% off, which is always amazing when you can find them in the sale. And these are multicoloured black, beige brown, nude, and a cream to the strap. And again, they're just really, really wearable. I've worn them a lot for different events and occasions because they're just that very strappy, easy look sandal that goes with so much due to the kind of monochrome colours. Very comfortable. Again, the only thing I'd say is sometimes this can cut into your ankle, but you just loosen it up and it's absolutely fine. And again, just another pair of amazing John Vito Rossi's in my whole collection. OMG, we've come to the end of the shoe collection video. This is the reason I didn't film it for so long because I knew it was going to take me so long to film, but I really, really really hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, every single shoe will be linked down below with links just in case you can still buy them if you loved anything. I think recently I counted how many actual pairs of shoes I had and I think I had about 95 pairs and that includes a lot of kind of slip-on espadrille sandals which I've not included here. Trainers, now and again for the gym I wear the odd pair of trainers. But generally this is kind of like my whole collection right now plus obviously quite a lot that I showed you last time that I've not showed you now. So yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed that, guys. Please subscribe if you're brand new. I'll leave a subscribe button here. Just click that to subscribe and like this video. If you liked it, please like it now. And I'll see you soon. Bye.